Hi, Shona. Hiya. Hiya. Hello. So, what's been going on with you? What have you got a fear of? Um, basically, um, I think it's more of a fear of sort of losing myself. <laughs> um, I've basically um, recently gone through a breakup, um, and I've really just lost all confidence, all sort of identity, and just lost myself completely. <laughs> okay. Really. And the thing is, with something like that, is that we've all come off the back of two very bizarre years where you were locked in and almost of lost some of your social yeah. skills anyway. I know I did. Yep. You know, feeling more uneasy yep. about going out and then a partner as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it is really understandable and that is just such a good point. However, uh, can I just ask Sean, how long were you together for? Um, we were together five years. OK. Um, and you don't have to tell me why you broke up, but was there a definitive reason why you broke up? No reason whatsoever. Um, oh, okay. There was no sort of closure or anything. I have no idea why it's happened. Really. Okay. Yeah, that makes right. it harder. Yeah. It does sure. make it harder. So what? Because what you're actually saying is that you've lost confidence in yourself and your own ability. So first of all, if you've been together for five years, I want you to first of all look back and appreciate the years before you even knew your partner and how you survived. Mm perfectly well through that time. So that's the first yeah. thing I'd like you to do. The second thing I'd like you to consider um, is that relationships are very much like shoes. And you might wonder what I'm talking about, but yeah. we go through life and we have different pairs of shoes. We have one that we keep forever and then really comfy. We don't care if they're falling apart. We have some that look amazing in the moment and then we try and walk in them and we get blisters from them. We have some that are just fashionable for a short period. And literally that is the same, whether it's you know friendship or relationship, you know, we, we literally have these different variations. So basically, you've been walking in some shoes for the last five years that for some reason, they just didn't fit quite right. But I don't want you to lose sight of the person that was walking in those shoes. And, and that was you. So what, the things that you need to do, appreciate all the years before you met that person. So that you and think about all the things that you did before you met that person, all the holidays you did, the job interviews, exam results, passing your driving test, whatever it might be, because we're going to build your confidence that way. Secondly, I'd like you to appreciate that for whatever reason that relationship ended, it wasn't necessarily because it was your fault. It just might be that that shoe just didn't fit quite right. And then the last thing I'd like you to do is because you've given a lot of power to the relationship. And do this when we come off air and just have a when you finish this call. I want you to imagine your your ex partner's face, and you'll probably notice that you see it quite close. And that's why it kind of you're not letting go. Literally, imagine getting that image and pushing it far away till it floats away, and then give me a really big sigh. That will help to cut that emotional tie so that you can move forward. Right, okay. Lots there to go on. Yeah, there is. There is. Um, probably a lot to process and think about, actually, but you've got some yeah. homework to do, so <laughs> we'll leave you to get on with that, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Thanks. Good luck. Thank, thank you. you. Be confident, get out there, live your life, Absolutely. enjoy it. Uh, hi, Jacqueline. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Right, okay, this is a tricky one. Um, okay, how can they help? I have a fear of flying. I've not flown, I'm 66 and never flown or been to an airport. Oh, wow. wow. You're a cancer survivor? That's right. Yeah. OK, was that recently? Yes. OK, and you've travelled to Spain in the past by coach, but it's a 26-hour journey. It's a long coach wow. journey, yeah. Yes. Yeah. OK, so uh, the great thing is with this, Jacqueline, is no one is born with a phobia of flying. So that's, that's our baseline. So something has happened in your life for you to have this phobia or fear. Uh, so, either you... Uh, the, the two main reasons to, to get that is either you've had a bad experience or maybe copy behaviour. So, can I ask you about your parents? Did your parents fly a lot? No. Me mum had a fear of flying. Yeah. Oh. Right, OK. Yeah. So, so, we're on that route. So, uh, if, you, if your mum had a fear of flying, just like you, your parents are your role models for life, uh, and, and when you start off and you're learning about the world, just like you copy your accent off your parents, you've copied this from your parents. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Amazing. So what we've got to do is look at contra evidence to put things into perspective. So can I ask you, have you got any children? Yes, I've got three. OK, and have you got any grandchildren? Yes. How many of those have you got? Nine. Wow. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> right, so, so, the, so there's 12 people in your life that you love dearly. Do you allow Absolutely. them to fly? Yes, they fly. Right, OK. So what do I... And I assume that they all tell you, please come with us. Yes. 
and play fly with us? Yes. OK, so what we need to do is look at this contra evidence. I'm sure you know, I'm sure they've told you all the stats about how planes are safe to fly and, you know, it's safe form of travel. But what you've got to consider is this learning. You were taught something or you, you learned something from your mum that was incorrect. It was an incorrect learning. So what I want you to do, look at the contra evidence. You let all your family fly uh, on a plane. Just and, and ask yourself the question, did your mum lose out in her life by not flying or did it enhance her life? And obviously you know that she lost out. Yes, she did. And also ask the question of who actually knows better, somebody that's never been on an aeroplane or somebody that's flown lots. And then consider things like, well, why would a pilot or cabin crew go on aircrafts? So you're looking to literally just get lots of information together uh, to help break that, that tighty fight or flight response that gives those feelings of anxiety. And be because you've never had, you never been on a plane, that will take a bit of time to process. It's a bit like, because getting the new information is a bit like, if I give you an example, you've had a friend that you've loved for years and then you find out that that friend has talked about you behind your back or something. And at first you, you find it hard to accept that information because your brain shows you mm. all the good times and, and you go, no, they won't do that, they won't do that. But then you get more information, you get to a point, you go, I accept that now and you move on and you have nothing to do with them. This is the same but in reverse, right? A plane has never done you any harm and in fact it gives your families great holidays and you should be with them so look at this evidence and as you start to process it you'll find that it will start to feel different does that make sense it certainly does is it starting to sort of trickle in a little bit as you're hearing them say that is it changing you the way you're thinking yeah, it makes me feel silly mm -hmm. Right. It's funny, isn't it? No, no, I've I, seen that reaction so many times, and that's followed by an acceptance. Yeah. Just, just so you know, this is a good thing. Well, can I say, Holly, you've been there, haven't you? Yeah, in that situation exactly. With flying, yeah. Yes. yeah, totally. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Let us know if and you've also, got And also, you know, you, the, it, suddenly, by, by accepting all of that, the world goes bam! At this stage of your life, yeah. the whole world is, um, like is open for you, and all Amazing. of the things you didn't do are suddenly right there on your doorstep. Yeah. So exciting. Enjoy. So exciting. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank you. You're very welcome. Bye now. Thank you. Oh, a lovely gift you yeah. give to people.